Okay, guys, here we go. We are on to the next part. Uh, we have assembled the connecting rod through the wrist pin to the piston. Um, I couldn't do it one-handed, so I had to just assemble one, and then we could talk about it. So before we go on, let's do a couple things here. Just shopkeeping. Um, my two cents. Um, cleaned all my tools before I started. In this case, it was a set of needle nose pliers that I have specifically years ago ground down to be the world's best snap ring pliers. And what we've got going on here, things that we need to remember. And I'm going to say this a couple times probably because we've got to remember this. And this is here we've got the connecting rod and we want the long side of the connecting rod. So you can see how this side is longer than the short side over here. Um, we want the long side of this connecting rod facing the cam or the driver's side. So that's how the engine's sitting right now. I've oriented the piston and the connecting rod to mimic that. So what we've got here, so we've got the front of the piston facing the front of the motor. And we've got the long side that is facing the cam or the block. Now, if you go on and you do a search, you're going to find out that a lot of people say no way that you can install these any way but one way. And a lot of other people will say, guess what? You can install them either way. It doesn't matter. So do your homework. Again, this is your build. Um, I have followed the book here and the procedure. And I will... I will just throw that out there as my recommendation. Put the long side towards the cam, um, which would be, not to be confused, that is away from the exhaust side or the oil cooler side. So what we've done is we have cleaned all the surfaces again, and we have oiled the wrist pin. So we've taken the ultra slick, we've oiled the wrist pin up, and we have oiled the inside of the wrist pin land over here and we've also oiled i should say not oiled because that's gonna we've assembly lubed how about that we've assembly lubed the inside of the rod here so to make sure all of those surfaces have the appropriate amount of slickum on there now most of that those are super tight tolerances so most of that is going to get pushed out but i'd rather have some pushed out than have a dry spot when I'm assembling it, because this ultra slick is what's going to keep this motor alive till it's got oil flowing through all of these spots, which we we try to pre-oil ours before we get anything done. Like we put grease in the oil pump and then we pack that and then fill it and then do whatever we can to get oil there as fast as possible. But this is what keeps it alive. So that is your assembly there. Um, the other thing that needs to be noted, I don't know if I noted it already, I've already forgotten, but I'll just note it again. So here is the notch for the oil cooler jet. Um, this one has a different style, uh, but still this notch, when you're installing the connecting rod to the wrist pin, to the piston, you need to make sure that the long side faces the camshaft driver's side that you've got the front uh, where it's marked front here which will put this little beauty facing the oil the piston cooling jet so that is the jet that sprays up there lubricates all this and sucks some of the heat off of your pistons anyway hope that's helpful and we will see you on the next go round